Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Signature Licks lesson for April through June 2020. And this time around I'm going to, to redo my Signature Licks lesson on the Great Guitar Gable. And I did, one of, I did a version of this a long time ago and I'm redoing all my Signature Licks lessons trying to improve the quality of the lighting and the instruction. Plus I've got tabs for all the licks that I'm going to show you. So Guitar Gable is one of my all-time favorites and there was a tune called Walkin' with the Kings that I got on a cassette tape from a friend of mine who's a record collector and that was one of the first complete blues, electric blues guitar instrumentals that I learned how to play. Great tunes like Congo Mambo and the vocal tunes that he did with King Carl on the Excello label. These feature some really great guitar playing. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do here, as in with all my Signature Licks lessons, is I've picked out 15 or so of my, of my favorite licks, or licks that I think are interesting, or licks that I think are creative, or just show you know, something different that you can do with your guitar playing, especially lead playing or playing fills. And so let's get started. Let's go through some, some guitar gable. The first lick comes from a tune called No Matter What. It's in the key of A. And this is just an example of a basic guitar gable lick in the first position blues box. I'll play it again. So what I'm doing here, key of A, I'm doing two of these hops or bends, bending the seventh fret of the third string using my second and third fingers. And then I've got my first finger on the uh, fifth fret of the second string. And then I'm doing one of these hammer-ons. That's real common in guitar, guitar Gable's playing. He does this a lot. And he does another hammer-on pull-off. On the second string, it's between the fifth and seventh. And then he does it again on the fifth and seventh frets of the first string. So we got this. Wraps it up with an 8-5 on the second string. So played slowly. A lot of these licks, I'm just going to show them to you. I'm not going to play them exactly as they're heard in the original recording. My goal here is to give you the ideas of what you can play. Some of these songs are faster, some are slower, and you can play the licks fast, you can play them slow, you can you know take a note out, put a note in, and make them your own all kinds of possibilities here. So that is a real basic guitar gable lick to get us started. Example number two is an example of the rhythm guitar that you hear on the guitar gable recordings from the late 50s, early 60s. I don't know if guitar gable's playing this, whoever's playing second guitar, I haven't looked at the information. I try not to concern myself too much with names and the history, I just want to get to the guitar. So whoever's playing the second guitar on this, it's really cool. And in many of Guitar Gable's songs, you have a, a, a really neat guitar bass line going on. This Should Go On Forever is another song in the key of A. And in this tune, the guitar player plays this really neat bass rhythm. And this is something unique to, to Guitar Gable's recordings. It starts over the four. The song, he actually starts singing over the one, This Should Go On Forever. And then the band kicks in on the four. I'll play one verse all the way through. That's what's going on. It's a pretty simple idea. So when he's playing over the four to start the song, he's starting on the fifth fret of the fifth string, which is a D, and that's our four. And he's playing an octave. There's a D note here on the fifth string, and then the seventh fret of the third string is also an octave. So that's the first part, and then he's coming here. Check out the tab to see what's being played there. Back to the one. Same pattern over the one and then to the five. 
Same pattern there. And then again, in the bridge of the song, the song is going to go to the two, which is a B. He's going to play that same pattern over the first position, B bar chord. So listen to this should go on forever, and you'll hear that rhythm guitar in the background, and it's just neat. It's different, and that's one of my favorite guitar gable ideas. So that's example number two. Use the tab to get the specific notes there. Example, lick number three from Guitar Gable comes from a tune called A Long Way From Home. And this is in the key of A flat. And he does this really quick single string run. And I love this. This is one of my favorite Guitar Gable licks. It goes like this. That is typical of the Guitar Gable style. He'll play these repeated licks really fast before he goes into the rest of his solo. And we're in A-flat, and we're walking into it from the 4th fret to the 6th fret to the 4th fret of the 1st string. And then the main lick, I'll play it slowly. tab to get that right and then play it fast and there you have a really neat single string lick on the first and second strings from A Long Way Home by Guitar Gable. Lick number four is very similar to lick number three. We're going to move to the key of B flat and this is from Walking in the Park with Sally which I think is the first Guitar Gable song that I heard. It's either that or Walking with the Kings. And he plays another one of those repeated licks, and this one is a little different. It goes like this, and it goes like this. So what I'm doing here is leading into it from the 6th fret of the 2nd string to the 8th fret. Same thing I did here on the previous lick. Then we got and he just plays it fast. And that is example number four from Walking in the Park with Sally. We're in the key of B flat. Lick number five is more of an idea. And in some of uh, Guitar Gable's slower songs, he does these songs where the structure is one to the five. He doesn't go to the four right off the bat. So there's this, a song in B flat called Life Problem. And it starts out, I'll just play the chords for you. It starts out over the one. Then he's going to go to the five. And what goes on, you got a, a, the guy on the second guitar who's playing the bass is playing something like... Whoops. Oh, he's playing some kind of bass line. And then in the background, you hear what I assume is Guitar Gable's guitar playing these descending ninth chords, and he does something like this. And the song stays on the five. back to the one. I just think that is so cool. I don't know about you. It's really simple. It's not a hard idea. All we're doing is taking a second position ninth chord. So the song is in B flat. Your second position ninth on the five is an F9. And we're just going to start from two frets above from the G9. And I'm just going to walk into it and let it ring out while the song over the five. Listen to Life Problem. It's on YouTube. You can find it about anywhere. This one's kind of hard for me to explain. You can also mix up how you do that. You can strum that differently. And it 
pretty much works for those songs that go one to the five, back to the one. And there's a bridge where he goes to the four and the two. But in the main part of the song, the main verse, it's basically from the B flat to the F. So that little idea, it's a good idea for a fill lick using chords. And it really works in those New Orleans Excello type slow, slow blues. So that's example number five. Nothing earth shattering, just sounds great. And it's another example of how you can play something really simple and have it sound really good. Lick number six is from a tune called Mary Lou in the key of B. And this is yet another example of one of these repeated licks that he plays in the first position blues box. I'll take this one a little further for you. It goes something like this. So, do it again. So what I'm doing is starting, we're in the first position, B blues box, and we're starting on the seventh fret, first string. One, two, three. Going to the tenth fret of the first string. And you can mix up the picking pattern. You know, get fancy with it. Same idea, I think he keeps it pretty simple. Here we're going. Just a little run into the second position blues box or first position blues box between the seventh and ninth frets. So I'll play it real slow. Another very cool, very basic guitar gable lick, but something different. You don't hear other guys play stuff like this. That's lick number six. Lick number seven, example number seven, whatever we want to call it, also comes from Mary Lou in the key of B. And here's one of the few times where Guitar Gable ventures into the second position blues box. It goes like this. One more time. So we're playing in the second position blues box in B, which is between the 10th and the 12th frets. We're starting the lick on the 12th fret of the second string. And then we're walking in chromatically 10, 11, 12 on the first string. And then we're bouncing back and forth between the 12th and the 11th fret of the first string. So like this. Right here, when he gets that note, he's going to do that lick bending on the 12th fret of the first string, so the whole thing. Very cool. This little idea, this one right here, you hear that in B.B. King, Freddie King, he's just playing it fast. I like that. That's lick number seven. That's from Mary Lou in the key of B. Lick number eight is another one from No Matter Who in the key of A. And here's another example of a creative lick in the first position blues box that Guitar Gable uses. It goes like this. One more time. So we're, we're doing one of these climbs, starting on the 5th fret of the 3rd string to the 6th fret, 5, 7 on the 2nd string. But then right here, we're going to a bend of the 3rd string at the 7th fret, holding it about a half note, little hammer on pull off, and then wrapping it up with a one fingered bend on the 5th fret of the 3rd string. One more time slowly. Very cool. So that is example number eight from No Matter Who in the key of A. Look number nine comes from No Matter Who, and we're going to stay in the key of A. And here's a, another lick that shows something that Guitar Gable did quite a bit. It goes like this. One more time. 
played it right the second time. The first time I, I was one note off, and I'll show you what I did. So we start out with one of these licks in the first position blues box. Check the tab. We're going eight, seven, five on the first string. Eight, five on the second string. And then right here, we're going to slide on the third string. Guitar Gable does this every now and then. We're going to go to the ninth fret of the third string. And then slide into it. Come back to the seventh fret of the third string. First time I played it, I did something like this. I did something wrong. The lick should go like this. So that slide to the uh, ninth fret, that's something that he would do. You know, go from there. Playing in the first position blues box, slide on that third string, come back into the second position blues box. So one more time, I'll try to play it slowly. And that is lick number nine, example number nine, that's from No Matter Who in the key of A.